This image comes from Discovering Hot Plate's Inspiration Gallery and it's called Angels Are Descending. Starting with the encaustic art clear wax on the hot plate using A3 white encaustic painting card. And then the hot plate itself, the electric hot plate, well big enough to underheat this card perfectly during the whole of the process. And the process begins by applying a coating of yellow all over. It wasn't preconceived, it evolved as I went through. And these angels descending formed the title and the heart of the image. So let's see how it all came together. It began with circles of colour. The yellow on the backing card creates an illumination and these circles of colour contain that in the centre. This little sign means that I'm using tissue and here I've got a loose pad which I'm just bouncing on and off as I move forward, sort of hopping along to create an even graded colouring. Then using the block direct, and these are the two main approaches. Direct block work and tissue work. So now using the tissue to work into that colour. This is a single layer and so whenever I work the wax it blends with what's already there or replaces what's there. It doesn't build up in layers. The layering has to be done through the graphics themselves. You can see how easily the wax just melts on, just touch the block and on it goes. Obviously throughout the video I'm using different time speeds just to flow the image better. So sometimes what you'll see is in real time and sometimes it's a little bit speeded up. Generally, I'm seesawing between wax block application and tissue work, dragging and dabbing, building up structures, evolving the image, seeing what comes out. Sometimes there are bits that I don't like and I change them. That's the beauty of working in this way. Now this is a sponge roller, 100 uh, millimeters or four inches long, and I'm just using it to apply some darker color, just pressing down the round end of that roller and then working those colors into the image. I want to create a pathway from here to there, from where we observe into the light. So taking a clean tissue, carefully working down to create that avenue we can pass through visually into the light. Having the yellow on the backing card makes the waxes more mobile, but it's not actually the color I want because I want to concentrate our focus into the center so I've added the brown and now the blue. And because they're almost opposite colors, complementary colors one might say, in the color wheel, when they mix, they create sort of grays. Now I'm warming up that roller by rolling it back and forth on the hot plate. And then pressing hard with that metal handle edge. You can see the little white line right at the outside there. That's because I'm pressing so hard, squashing all the wax away. And you can really control this quite well. Steer it as you go. A few little details around the corners. And you can see how the brown and blue have mixed into that sort of greyish tone. 
and then the same thing on the outside, keeping the inner part of the roller well raised so it doesn't touch. Now that I've created that dark containment, I want to lighten up the area inside. As you're working, you're going to find your own pathways because every image will be different. This was just what happened for me. And all I'm trying to do really is share the experience I had and show the process that I used where I'm working, reworking, adding, wiping, dabbing, building up structures, overlapping to create depth because we're always working actually in one physical layer. But we can create that physical layer in multiple depths visually by overlapping. So a little bit more detail with the roller, steering, containing, framing what I want the image to be, the content in the middle there. And then using tissue to pattern, to wipe away. Adding fresh color to bring new vibrancy. And then dabbing on that color. And through the dabbing, patterning and integrating. Warm the block up, tapping it on the hot plate there. And then when you touch the card, it'll give nice clean marks. Again, blues and browns. And then some richer color to bring jewels into this cavern of light. This image comes from the online hot plate course called Discovering Hot Plates. And if you're interested in this type of work, then why not have a look at encaustichouse.com. Now that I've created the illumination within the image, I want to develop that and increase that. So taking clean tissue, lightly dragging out to create rays of light. I'm sorry that the camera flares a little bit in the center during this part because it's so bright compared to the rest of the image. But by putting the yellow wax in and then using clean tissue, making sure that the tissue is clean, that's what I'm doing there, you can see that you get the whitest view through to the card underneath. And that card is staying clean underneath. So I'm quite happy with the illumination that I've increased there now. It feels like light shining out. So then I had the idea to put in some figures using white. But as I did that, I realized that my white wasn't very clean. So back with the tissue, remove those little gray bits. But I've got my basic structure there now in that white that you almost can't see because it's so bright to the camera's lens. using yellow to go over that area and then just pushing up and lifting to encase these structures of figures and these are what became my descending angels and you might wonder well what is an angel well in art an angel can be an inspiration or an aspiration. Where do your ideas come from? What are you expressing? So this is a sort of high illuminated connection to my own inspirations and aspirations. I 
And what I wanted to do was to lighten the whole image, to increase the luminosity, putting in a closer figure, and then continuing using white and yellow to increase the whole image. And that was it. That was my end result. Online hot plate course at encaustichouse.com and all the products used at encausticart.com I hope you like the image. I was really pleased with it. Angels are descending. Thanks for watching. Bye.